Lesson 13.1a, Modeling the Volume of a Cylinder. So take a look at this. I have a can here, an empty can. This is a cylinder. And it's on a plane down here. And if I put another one on top, we can say this cylinder is between two planes. A cylinder is a three-dimensional figure, length, width, height, that's the three dimensions, that has two congruent circular bases that lie in a parallel plane, just like the can with the cards on top and the bottom. The volume of a three-dimensional figure is the number of cubic units needed to fill the space. Here I have a little cup, and I've got one centimeter cube units that I've put into the bottom. Now you can see I haven't been able to fill the entire bottom because this is a circle and these are cubes. So we have spaces along here, don't we? The volume of any three-dimensional figure is the number of cubic units needed to fill the space taken up by the solid figure. One cube represents one cubic unit of volume. We can develop the formula for the volume of a cylinder by using an empty can or other cylindrical container. Step one, we arrange centimeter cubes in a single layer at the bottom of the cylindrical container, just like I did with this cylinder dish and my cubes. We fit as many cubes into one layer as possible, making sure each cube is in contact with the bottom of the cylinder. So you don't want to shove an extra cube in here making them go up. You want it to all be flat on the bottom. And we count the cubes. I was able to fit 40 cubes into my container. I counted them. There are 40 of them in here. Step two. To find how many layers of cubes will fit into the cylinder, we make a stack of cubes along the inside of the cylinder. So right along the inside edge here, I'm going to stack some cubes, one column like that. So I have this bottom layer and three more. I was able to fit four layers in my container. Step three, we can use what we now know to approximate the number of cubes that it would take to fit into my container. I had 40 cubes in the first layer and they were stacked four high. 40 times four is 160. So we know it's going to be approximately 160 for the volume. It's not exactly 160 for the volume of my dish because I have some empty spaces here. It's not quite full because of all these empty edges. So the base multiplied by the height is going to equal the volume. Now take a look at this can. The volume of this can is equal to the base area multiplied by its height. It's V equals B times H for volume is equal to the base times the height. The volume V of a cylinder is the product of the area of the base and the height of the cylinder. Our approximation of the volume of a right rectangular prism would be more accurate using the centimeter cubes than for a cylinder because the cubes would fit better in a rectangle than a circular base. We have all this extra space here. If we did it in a right rectangular prism, they might fit neatly into the bottom without these extra spaces. This means the approximation for the right rectangular prism would be more accurate. Now here we have two cylinders. This one is a right cylinder. It's standing straight up, perpendicular to the flat surface here. And this is an oblique cylinder. Right cylinder, oblique cylinder. We can see the height runs along the side of the right cylinder, but on the oblique cylinder, the height is perpendicular to the base away from the side. So it's perpendicular to the base like that, where this one is also perpendicular to the base, except this one is leaning. So this is not the height along the side here. The height is away from it, perpendicular to the base, and then up. 
and the volume of a right cylinder is the same as the volume of an oblique cylinder. If we filled them with so many ounces of rice, we would use the same number of ounces of rice to fill either one. The volume is the same, and their volumes are found using the formula volume is equal to base times height. The only difference is that this one's height is out here, where this one's height is right next to the side. Okay, we're finished with 13.1a. We're moving on to b, finding the volume of a cylinder using a formula. Enjoy the rest of your day, and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.